Hey guys, um, we are here. It is our day three of the full-time reseller challenge and we are doing consignment drops today. Uh, so we already hit up once upon a child, dropped our stuff off right when they opened. Uh, they're gonna text us when our buy is ready. And we're now here at Plato's Closet and uh, waiting for them to open up and we've got three bags to drop off to them. And then um, if we plan this right, we should get notification from Once Upon a Child right after we drop off the Play-Dohs so we can go and pick that up and then come back here and everything should be done by that time. Fingers crossed. So um, let's go and check it out. Hey guys, welcome back. So like I said, we did a um, consignment run to Once Upon a Child uh, this morning. And as we also decided to do uh, Plato's Closet in the same day. We were going to do those separate days, um, but we thought we'd try to get them all done in one day. So um, let me, I've got some numbers here we can go over and kind of see how well we did for the day. So we'll start off with Once Upon a Child. Um, this is only our second time doing that. I, I think it's it's actually going pretty well. We usually, you know, if we find kids clothes, things like that at the bins, we'll grab them. They're pretty light, so they actually help balance out the average cost of goods for everything else. Um, and then when I tell you the numbers here, you'll see, you know, the, the results are pretty good with that. Um, so we'll probably hold stockpiles, maybe go once a quarter, um, maybe once every other month, depending on how much uh, clothing we find and things like that. Um, so anyways, we went to Once Upon a Child. We brought in 68 items um, at a cost of 78 cents a piece, which is our average cost of goods right now. Um, and... We ended up selling 44 pieces out of that 68, which is pretty good, I think. Um, some of the stuff they passed on, they said just was out of season and things like that, which is understandable. So we'll hold on to those and um, take them in later. Or uh, some of the nicer pieces, like there was a couple Bowden, uh, baby Bowden pieces that they passed on that Sarah will list in her Posh shop. And those usually do pretty good on Poshmark as well. Um, so anyways, those 44 pieces, we made $62. Very minimal effort. I mean, we're just picking these things up as we're looking through everything else at the bins. And um, it, you know, we all we have to do is lay it. They like it to be laid out in a bin or whatever. And we bring that in, hand it to them. We took off for half an hour, came back. They paid us cash for what they took and we were on our way. So if you're looking to kind of flip something quick, this is a good idea, good alternative or something rather than spending the time for photographing each item, listing it on there, hoping that somebody likes it, you know. But in most cases on our, you know, our reseller apps like Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, all that, is that you will get a higher return for those individual items. But... Um, sometimes a quick flip is really, really pretty awesome. If you guys watched our previous videos, um, we did and actually end up grabbing a lot of the stuff that we took to Once Upon a Child from our previous day's bins trip. And with that $62, we actually paid off that bins trip and had some money left over. So it's, it's something to think about. If you're picking things up at the bins, you see certain items that you know will sell it at these places, you can get those, take them in, sell them on consignment or the buy, you know, instant buy, whatever they're doing and get that cash so that your rest of your bin strips paid off. So everything else now is basically profit once we get it listed into Poshmark and Mercari and all that. So, um, so Play-Dohs, uh, we went to Play-Dohs, a uh, last top couple times we've gone here they've got a new crew they're not great at all 
they um, keep telling us there's things they don't think uh, will sell in their shop and all this stuff, but we've shopped around in their shop and the stuff we're bringing them is 10 times better. Um, so I, you know, honestly, I think what they're doing is they're buying based on if they would wear it themselves, not based on whether their clients would go in and shop it. Um, yeah, it just wasn't a good experience. We're probably not going to be going back to Play-Dohs for quite a while. Um, just because their current staff there is not very knowledgeable about what, um, good products are basically. Um, so anyways, so we took, uh, 82 items in there. And most of that was stuff that we sourced from our bin strip this week. And we took some death pile items. Um, me and Sarah did pull a few old, old items out of our shop and took those, but not a whole lot. Um, so again, cost of goods on those average 78 cents an item. We sold 33 pieces out of the 82, um, which isn't a lot. Uh, but we did end up making $92. Uh, when we went home and sorted back through everything that um, they didn't take, uh, you know, all that stuff we're going to be able to put on Poshmark and Mercari and make a decent amount of money on. So um, I guess their loss, our gain, you know, whatever. Um, but $92 for basically an hour wait for them to go through and sort through our clothes and stuff. Not too bad. Um, so in total, we sold 77 items between uh, both locations yesterday with very minimal effort. And uh, we ended up making a total of $154 between both shops, which is pretty good. So um, our cost of goods, like I said, was 78 cents an item. So that's about $60 and six cents um, for the stuff that we sold. Um, so our profit ended up being $93 and 94 cents for basically an hour of work. Um, so that's not too bad taking stuff and, and getting that quick flip return on it. Because now we can take that ninety three ninety four and invest that back into the business, and you know make tenfold what we just did. So uh, sometimes it's a good idea to do that. You know, turn some old inventory that you're not feeling good about anymore, or if you're just like I said with the kids' clothes, the stuff doesn't weigh that much, and you just need some add on weight at the bins. Pick that stuff up, hold on to it for a little while and then take it in and you'll make your reward back on that stuff. So, um, you know, all in all, I think yesterday was a really good day um, for trying this out. It's not something that we do every week, obviously. Um, you know, like I said, it's probably quarterly, um, maybe monthly, every other month, something like that. So, um, thanks for watching. Again, if you guys like these videos, please, 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 Subscribe, like the video, share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.